All right, this is the, the public um, portion of our select board meeting for tonight. We had an executive session before this meeting. Um, and uh, we're being taped by Frontier Community Access Television for viewing by our residents and the public later on. Okay, first item on the agenda is minutes for July 9th. Has everybody reviewed the minutes? Any changes or additions? Uh, I read them, but I wasn't here, so I, I okay. abstain. Okay. Phil, are you okay uh, with the minutes? Good. Okay. I'll make a motion that we approve the minutes for um, July 9th. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes. All right. Okay. With one Bob's and an abstention yeah. for not being here. Okay. Next item on the agenda, we have three warrants. We have a vendor warrant, $114,226. A payroll warrant of $114,662 and a payroll deduction warrant of $28,978. I'll make a motion that we approve those warrants. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Yes. Okay. Right. Next item on the agenda, meetings attended by select board members. Phil, any meetings since last uh, select board meeting? Um, yeah, we, there was a, a meeting of the uh, school finance, school building finance committee, um, which was uh, actually rockets, rocket trajectory calculations by hand would have been simpler than some of the financing uh, uh, discussions that were uh, going on, but um, making progress and determining how that's going to be done and had to do additional interviews for the principal position there. Um, due to candidates not surviving background checks. Um, and uh, I think that's about it. So I went to that meeting also, um, which was fortunate for me that it was postponed from while I was away for a week. It was, it was postponed to when I, after I had come back. So that was, so I was really glad to go. Um, and, and, and I thought it was a good meeting. Y y um, it, it's, it was basically a meeting to keep us all abreast of how we might spend money, how much it might be. No, nothing firm. Um, and it's a significant amount of money. So, so all of the towns, you know, need to be on board. Mm -hmm. but much less than it was when we first, at that big public meeting earlier in the year that we were all at. Um, it's one third of that amount that, that we're talking about. Well, the, the first phase of it. Right, right, <laughs> I mean, right. You know, I mean, it's been broken right. up into multiple phases. <laughs> and and, and we, we had a good discussion over should we, you know, just pay it or should we take out bonds and how much will it be and how much would the bonds cost and should they be over 10 years or 20 years or 15 years or mm -hmm. whatever. Lots of that or discussion. No, or, or notes. Yeah, yeah. yeah, debt exclusion, yeah. capital exclusion. Um, yeah. It's just, but it was uh, finance. Jeff Furcog's finance. Joe. Joe oh, was there, and he good. was he's the man. As good as usual. He is yeah. the sure. man. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's he's uh, he worked for DOR, so he he knows his stuff on this. Yeah. Okay. Any other? And that, uh, we had an FCAT meeting on Thursday. Right. Um, there isn't a lot going on in the summertime with FCAT because. You know, we're now on every other week. Most of all the towns are on every other week. There's, you know, rare school committee meetings. Mm -hmm. um, I don't even did FCAT come to your meeting that was earlier in this week. Yeah. Uh, um, you know, the, the grammar schools aren't meeting, um, and which is really fortunate. So this was mostly a meeting where Chris talked about the health issues that he had a little while ago, mm -hmm. and was looking for a vote of of support that we're not about to fire them, you know, that, that, and that, that the board, you know, is, you know, is happy to ride out the summer and, and see how it goes into the fall. Um, and he really believes he'll be in much better shape by the fall. So, and, and the, you know, basically the board is very strongly in his corner and, uh, and he's done a good job. Um, for the last, you know, year or two now. Good. And, uh, Good. So. so that so there was also the school, the school committee meeting that there was a uh, surprise, uh, not surprise, but it's norm we normally don't have a joint school committee meeting with all the different schools, uh, all the towns represented, the 27 voting committeemen. Um, we know, it's first J July meeting and 
the eight years that I've been a part of it. Um, okay. And but the uh, because there was a resignation of the business director at Frontier, mm -hmm. um, and uh, she took a position at uh, in at Palmer. This is all in her letter. Um, so she took a position at with the Palmer schools, um, and they pay sub They were in desperate need, and they pay substantially more than what we did. What we do, um, mm -hmm. and and because it's so hard to fill that position. Um, it was posted and listed for two weeks. They didn't. Get, they did not get a single actual qualified applicant. Not a single licensed applicant. And so uh, we, we met with a consultant that does monthly contracts. Um, mm -hmm. uh, they used to work for Desi, whatever. Uh, but and it looks like instead of an actual employee for a year, we're going to have to go that route. Uh, um, so that we, cause there, there's a part of the calendar when they all do musical chairs, and we're past that. Yeah. Okay. So this is Patty that we're talking about. I mean, well, I, I, yes. Yeah, yeah, where? Where she is. Yes. Yeah, right. Where. Okay. All right. Uh, I attended the Massachusetts Selectmen's Association regional meeting um, a couple of weeks ago. It was in Plymouth, and the subject of the meeting was harassment. A very interesting meeting. Um, very, very uh, informative. So I have some notes that I'll, I'll pass around to you. I also attended the um, Hampshire Group Insurance Trust Advisory Committee meeting last week uh, to find out the latest information on what they're doing. Uh, essentially, they're leaving everything in place except for a, a small increase uh, until next year because of, of some complications uh, that came up. So they're basically leaving the, the plan in place. Okay. Uh, I also had a FERCOG uh, council meeting on Thursday. That's why I couldn't be at the, the, the FCAT board yeah, meeting. Yeah. Um, and uh, that was a, the July meeting is always good. Uh, it's a reorganization meeting and it was well attended. And the, the council is moving forward very well. So we're, we're, we're in good shape with them. All right, next item on the agenda, public comment. Any public comments? I don't see any public comments. All right. Um, let's see. We're going to move up. Um, we'll go with Elizabeth first, and then we'll go with Gemma. We'll move you guys up on the agenda. Elizabeth. Yes. So you're going to be our new administrative assistant. And that's how it looks. OK, that's great. Do you have any questions for us? No. But I think it's going to take me a while to get my sea legs under me and figure out who does what and how it all works. And this is very interesting sitting here and listening to you talking about this. And you know, this is how these little towns work. It's really kind of neat. You can go to FCAT and you can view years <laughs> yes. of tapes. But or you, you want to sleep around. Great right? to sleep. But you want to do that only, only if you have trouble sure sleeping. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> the, the unfair thing is that even though we're just one of these little towns, we still have to obey all the big city rules and laws because that, that all the laws and rules are written for. Who's the big city? Well, bought whatever. I mean, Who all makes the, the rules and laws. Is it a state, Commonwealth of Massachusetts? Yeah. 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 Sure. So all the towns have to have to go by that. Yeah. Okay. West of Worcester, the towns have only 10% of the population of the state. Uh -huh. So 90% of the population of the state is east of Worcester. Yeah, that makes sense. And, and sometimes uh, the understanding of rural issues is not well developed in our capital. Okay. So any, any questions for Elizabeth? We are really fortunate to have Tom, who has a wealth of knowledge and anything you want to know, he can answer. Okay, good. <laughs> do, you, do you go to annual town meeting here? No. I don't live here. Okay. I live in Greenfield. Oh. Yeah. The big city. I live in the big city. Yeah, the, yeah. Big, the big city. <laughs> the big yeah. city of Greenfield, city. please. Uh, yeah, and by the way, just let me say, Lisa, you asked me, I would like to be called Elizabeth rather than Betsy. That would be great. And that's okay. fairly new. So. Yep. Your email was a little... Yes. Well, I'm sure I signed it Betsy because that's how mm -hmm. I came in. But, and, and that's how what my resume says. But I'm switching over to Elizabeth. Right. Okay. So we have no mayor, you start. know, we have, like, like Greenfield, we're, we're very small compared to They the are the mayor. We are the mayor. Okay, the there mayors. you go. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we have no town council, we are the town council. Okay. No, town meeting is the town council. Correct. Oh, okay. Oh, see that? That's what you got Yeah. We are the punching bags for town meeting. <laughs> wow, that sounds <laughs> like fun. They need one of those. 
Okay. So, so you'll you'll be working for a number of different people. You'll be working for Tom, but in a number of. But my memory is it was a conservation of, commission planning board ZBA if they need her when they need, and um, also uh, the town clerk. Um, you remember has funding for an assistant. And uh, Jenny was part of the interview process and is very Great. interested in Elizabeth coming on for her as well. It's great. And we'll be working out the schedule and the timing as Any interest as in becoming by And okay. this, no. this, this so elected position. This yeah. position was approved by town meeting. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. that's yeah. good. That's yeah. good for you, good for us. When was town meeting? In May 14th. Oh, okay. Recently. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. Okay. If you have nothing else for us, Elizabeth, <laughs> welcome aboard. Well, thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank you for coming. motion, I think. Uh, uh, motion to yeah. appoint. Okay, yeah. I'll make a motion to appoint Elizabeth Cobb as administrative assistant. Do I have a second? second? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thank you so much, guys. Sorry we held you on the. Oh, not at all. We'll be, no, uh, I was enjoying <laughs> chatting with this fellow all time. <laughs> the uh, end of Janine will be in tomorrow if you want to come in and get sworn in and <clears throat> have your paperwork from Jan. Did you, did you get uh -uh. that? Oh, okay. We can do that. Okay. So, uh, do you want me to come in tomorrow? What time would be a good time? Uh, any any time actually. Uh, no, actually nine to noon. Okay. Yeah, you said. So it, sometime in the morning. Okay. And uh, we'll do what we can. Jan won't be in tomorrow, but uh, okay. we'll get things. Okay. We'll, we'll get things started. Okay. Good. All right. Oh, and you, oh, you have the uh, the uh, free employment. Oh, I have uh, that tomorrow. tomorrow. Yes, I well. do. So, so Tom. Do you yeah. want that? Yeah, yeah but okay. that's it too. So oh, okay. So, I can come in okay. Sure. All right, see, Whatever's okay. convenient. All right, thanks. Don't worry. Questions are good. Gemma, come on in. How you doing? How are things going over at the ambulance department? Uh, you know, busy, but. Okay. Status quo, pretty much. Okay. So, um, I had gotten. I don't know if Tom already gave you guys the the list of the amounts and stuff. Yes. Um, okay. It so was, uh, completely ununderstandable without trans expert translation. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, and I got some translation from Coastal because I emailed um, Lauren, who does. She's our main contact there and uh, just to try to get a little bit of clarification on how their process works um, and, you know and how they go about trying to collect money um, these are ones that they feel are are basically dead in the water they're not getting anywhere they the minimum of what they send she said is six mailed letters to the address that they have on file which is also the address that we get when we transport a patient we ask their you know current address and whatnot um, and then they also try to contact by phone and they contact through the hospital and the insurance company if they have insurance information um, to try to find you know if there's a way to contact the patient differently or whatnot um, so at this point they feel that these one obviously the top two um, are deceased so that's kind of I don't think we're going to get too far with those. Um, Group totals dead. That means deceased, I guess. Yes. No, yeah. it means it, it means yes. dead. <laughs> um, Underneath that, group totals dead, uh, deader is dead, dead more dead. No, dead, that dead actually under, dead that, under. That means that it's their copay. That's uh, their. I guess that's deductible, not received, or something. I don't totally understand what the letters stand for, but I got a little bit of a decoder section in the email from Lauren, um, which basically that's the the copay that those people have after their insurance and they haven't paid it. So um, now, are any of these cases Conway residents? I haven't. I didn't pull all the run reports and look at the current addresses. I did do um, a white page, a quick white pages search on some of the names, and some of them were Conway residents and are no longer listed as being Conway residents. Um, a couple of them have um, were like visiting, or it was a car accident or something. They they have never been Conway residents. 
Um, so, at least one is, and at least one of the deceased is was. Yes. Um, yeah, we have we have a couple of heavy bills here: eleven hundred dollars and seven hundred dollars. Yes. Hmm. Um, I know the one of the eleven hundred the eleven hundred dollar one that is a copay that is due. That particular person was a Conway resident, I believe, at the time of transport, and is now listed as not being in Conway. Um, does that have does that affect whether we can collect it or not? Or well, I I don't know. I don't think so. I think it might it might impact whether or not the billing company has been able to locate them. Which, you know, I know that part of the next step that they have after sending letters to the last known address is to contact the insurance company to see if, or the hospital to see if they've gotten any information that implies that they moved or, you know, forwarding address or anything like that. Does the billing um, company get a percent of accounts receivable? Yes. They so. get, um, I believe it's 5% of what they, you know, what they receive for us. Um, is what we pay them. Money. So they have, they have quite so they the incentive. So they have incentive, to, you know, yes. certainly. And, you know, this is an, these calls are for a 19 month period. So in all reality, seven, you know, seven amounts of money over 19 months isn't, you know, it's not a bad, bad ratio. It's just. These, uh, these things do come to the select word periodically yeah. and, uh, can't get um, from a stone. They, they they do try very hard to to collect, and uh, it does take select board approval to abate the the amount. However, so yeah, I was just I was just asking questions to make sure there's someone in the process that's paying attention and sort of has a feeling that this is just not doable, rather than it's just old hanging or whatever. But I'm definitely yeah, they. My understanding from you know from dealing with with Coastal is that they really do. Coastal is the billing company. It's Coastal Medical Billing. Um, they do try their best to get you know to get things paid. Um, so we we have these seven that are unpaid. How many have been paid in this same time period? I do know. not know right offhand. No. I would have to look through the... More than seven, I would think. <laughs> yeah. I would imagine, yeah. That would be everybody else. Yeah. Pretty much. I, I think this is, you know, if they haven't been paid, there if there's been no other... I gather these ones are there's been no action <clears throat> since the initial, you know, time that we transported, is my feeling on that. So anything else would have been either paid or somebody's working with... You know, I know the billing company does payment plans. They work, you know, they work with people as same as any other, any other billing company. Um, so everything else is in relatively good standing, I would say. And I'm trying to get at our percentage of success here with these with these bills. Do we know whether they collect 90 percent or 95 percent or 80 um, percent? Well, over that, over those 19 months, you must have had lots of calls yeah I would say over the 19 months we've I mean we average between I would say 100 and 120 calls a year mm -hmm. so that so this is a relatively small percentage yes okay. what does HSN mean that G means health safety, <laughs> health safety net health safety net no Phil it's not the home shopping network <laughs> <laughs> it health yeah Health safety net. Is which, that an insurance company? Get, yeah. It's get basically the equivalent to free care. Um, it means the the person, the patient, has a low enough income level to qualify yeah. for. Basically, the hospital writes off any bills, um, and we kind of, I gather, end up falling into that same category. But we have to say we're doing it or something. They can attempt to collect it from the patient, but it's not something that they can really, you can't send it to like a collection agency or anything like that. And then that. the one that's health safety net and are not received or? That means that they are eligible for it, but I gather they haven't done the paperwork to qualify for it. 
or to actually apply for it. Who's and they? You mean health the safety net? No, the patient. Oh, the patient. They have oh, to ask. Oh. You basically have to ask for it. They still got to fill you out can, paperwork. You can qualify for it, but you don't automatically get it. And Coastal has, they work through with health safety net to get people the paperwork if they need it. Um, and it, I believe that means, my understanding from what I'm reading means that they haven't done it. They've been given all the options and the possibilities and haven't done it. So those are still possible. Uh, they, they, no, th this no. list was sent as the list, which is non-collectible. It, it is. So what they yeah. consider to be non-collectible. Okay, any other questions for Gemma? We've been using Coastal now for a number of years, right? We've yeah. had some pretty good success with them. Yeah, I think for the most part they've been really good. Okay. Right. I believe we use somebody else. Yeah, we Probably during like else Randall's before. time, yeah. I think. Yeah. So does this money come out of your budget? I mean, where, where, how does? Well, what I happened? don't know. What that was my next question. This, yeah. Was where you know? It's, it's on. It's uncollectible. Yeah. So it's it's. Just gets just, written off. Just, it's just money so from revenue. In. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So okay. So it doesn't okay. go into it, it, their yes, receipts reserved yeah. account. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That That's kind of what I was thinking, but I wasn't. Basically, we're just giving Coastal permission to no longer attempt to collect these. Right. Right. Any other questions? Okay, I'll, I'll make a motion that we approve these for um, abatement. Uh, do I have a second? A second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, Jim. Okay. Thank you Thank so you. much, Jim. <laughs> We're all showing yeah. our ignorance to oh, you here. So. No. Well, I'm, I'm playing Jim is awesome. too. I, I don't remember one of these from it. last year. So, and it's interesting. I all, haven't done one yet. This is my first time doing this whole. But I've been in sweatshirt too. But Thanks. I saw those come uh, come in. So. Yeah, I, was, I thought yeah. they were. This is the first for me. How come they yeah. get all the neat gear? We don't have any gear like yeah. that. Yeah. What the heck? Good. Say the word, I'll put them in budget. No, for Twenty twenty. Get them from Pacific Printing in Northampton. They're very good. To get them done in about two weeks. Great. Cool. Thank you, Gemma. Thank you, Gemma. How's awesome. Robin? Robin came that? home last night. He's fine. Good. Good. Glad to be home. <laughs> Hoping they go out again. Of course. <laughs> okay. Thank All you. Right. Take Thank care. Thank you, guys. See ya. Have okay. a good night. Yeah. Too. He's been okay. wildfires in Canada. Oh boy. Good to be back home. Yeah. No, no. He loved being there. Oh, all right. All right, next item on the agenda is uh, to sign the MVP Certificate of Adoption. Okay. Yeah, I'm, uh, I don't want to sign that. Um, so she did, she, did, uh, she did make a series of rewrites. Um, I, I see from from what was previously submitted, uh, the summary includes. She now includes the, the a bunch of those surveys um, that I that I mentioned. However, um, due to the news on Thursday, I don't know if you saw that in the recorder. The uh, in the in the budget um, that was attached, it was attached to the big environmental bonding bill uh, that was full full money for the Asheville Dam. Six hundred thousand dollars special appropriation. Okay. So, um, but that hasn't passed yet. Uh, no, but it's that's part of the budget that the governor almost gets. That's like a it got attached to like a must pass part of the budget. Mm -hmm. uh, so either the governor X's out that whole part of that budget, you can't like do a line item within that one little thing, and it's not. I mean, it's they got they got their damn paid for by the state. Six hundred thousand dollars line item appropriation. So this, and and they got and within that same uh, uh, legislation, this MVP bit is being funded for. I thought I thought it said a hundred million dollars. So there's going to be grants to the towns based on these. Um, they're going to be competitively awarded the D whatever the environmental you know. The, the, yeah, but but that's 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 been the plan. In order to get access to any of that money, we have to pass this plan. 
Yeah, she needs to rewrite it. We need so to you think they, they should remove the dam? We need to delete the references to the dam because the well, dam sucks up all the life and energy and money out of this thing. Well, and if it's being fully funded, then I think we can just check it off of this plan. Um, that I, I certainly can't see going for any more money um, if, if, they're, if they're being funded with an earmark. There are many other things in that dam in this plan, and I don't think we have time for a rewrite. Um, we said we'd get this in by the end of July, um, and Ashfield has already signed. So I would suggest going ahead with the plan, which gives us eligibility to fund all the other things that are in the plan, and just say, okay, um, we're not interested in putting any more money towards the dam. I think that's a perfectly reasonable position to go ahead but with. all yeah. of all of what we're signing as our highest pop priority recommendations are beyond the actual repair of the dam and still all kinds of damn stuff oh. um, the uh, and, and, yeah. uh, hydraulic and, and, and more studies um, this and that and we all have this, to agree on on anything that goes forward that we ask for money for this is a, a joint program so uh, there's plenty of opportunity I think to uh, to put those points Did, forward I mean, uh, if, if you all looked at the highest, what this, the, of the 20 bulletin points, I'm like 18 of them are Ashfield. I mean, we get no, Well, what are know, we doing? What are we doing combining with Ashfield when they suck up all the money from this thing? And when we're, and when we're only asking for, um, Bubka, we're getting nothing. Yeah, but the, the nothing. This is very important for us because we're we're downriver on this on this situation, you know. Right. I, yeah. I, but, yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah. But but we uh, this the state is bailing them out and paying for that dam, and it's so the money that comes out of this. Uh, she she could clear up the bulletins on uh, on the the as the high the. The priority recommendations, the priority recommendations. She should, she can clear up the bulletins and make it fifty. More but Ashfield's already signed it, so I mean, right? That's not going to happen. So we we have uh, stabilization projects and and garage. Two out of twenty bulletin points. That's that's not okay. But a lot, of, a lot of these things that are being done in Asheville are being done so they don't affect us down there. Um, yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, when, when you look at it and it's it, fix their 911 service, fix their cell service. I, I'm, I'm seeing nine of these are specifically for Asheville. Because, uh, well, and a lot of it Anything that's South River is the whole, the whole watershed. So we have, you know, and that that's really what this is about: is the South River and using um, everything we can to control whatever that is. The fact that the source is up there the, as the dam is has been a major area of concern, and great for them that they got that money. And I would say that's a great argument for uh, for deprioritizing that as we move forward. The plan is a plan. It, it's not the uh, implementation. And the implementation can uh, focus on other things. I think you've made a good argument that we should. When I, and, uh, when I saw generators, uh, the, the little things like gener the, the stuff that's most likely to be funded is the stuff that's most easiest to digest and put a number next to. And when you see things like emergency generators for neighbors in Ashfield and for uh, Ashfield Highway Department garage. When we ourselves need emergency generator in, in at, at the grammar school, and when we ourselves need emergency generator at our ha highway garage, and we're not in here, and they are. Uh, well, we have a generator at the garage. And then it's just at the school. That the school. Yeah, but that's that's not near the South River. It's not. It's not part of part of this situation, is it? Well, yeah. But neither is neighbor's gas station. Neither is. Their highway garage, is it? I guess and it's a class and group. Yeah, you bring up a good point, but I, I, I think that, you know, we've got to get this done um, by the end of the month. This is our last meeting before the end of the month. And um, 
certainly this is this is being run from FERCOG. And if, if any money comes down for the dam specifically in, in this new budget, obviously it'll it won't it won't affect this. Um, you know, what, what, if, if I'm reviewing all these applications at a state agency and I see that the big number is already taken care of by somebody else, I just move on to the next application. I don't go to see what's, what's Plan B and Plan C. This, and this isn't a proposal for funding. We, we, this we, is what the basis of it is going to be, the, based on MVP reports. Yes, and, and it can be anything that's in there. It doesn't, doesn't have to, and we have to agree with Ashford on it. So we're going to have opportunities for further discussion, certainly. And for, for picking projects for implementation, we can say, you know, we want parity in, in what we're just, in what's being funded. Clearly, I think that's a that's a fair and reasonable thing to say. I'm not but, sure what you're proposing other than voting no. Uh, yeah, yeah I, mean, I, 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 I understand it, that, and I, 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 but I, I just um, I, 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 which I, you I, can I, certainly do to send a uh, message. Yeah, yeah, but. Um, I, I thought I thought we 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 not we've not been uh, accorded our fair fair share in this report. I would have had more people come to the uh, public meetings, the input, if I could have, and uh, and that's it, part it, of like when I think back it, on it, it's very much public input based. I, I will admit to having a slight stick up my butt because about that whole thing because the the fact that that uh, report, the the tie and bond report, was sold to us as a, 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 a climate change report when in fact it was a mandatory damn safety report and a mandatory order that the town do certain things and that now they got the state to bail them out. But that, at some level, was an intentional misrepresentation. And I'm not, not by fur I don't, I don't know who, but there were, there were Ashfields, there was an Ashfield selectman sitting there that knew that that representation was not accurate and that it wasn't climate change related, it was damn safety related. And that we- And, and you were the only one in the room that 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 the, picked up on that yes. and, and well, I, um, I think they would probably argue that that uh, climate change is going to be an increasing factor in dam safety. Um, yeah, I, I, I thought of the answer. Really, that, that's pretty actually, explicit in the rain that we had that, look, that, looking at the South River down here. Holy cow! That, that is explicit in here. Um, I mean, that's no more with, tangential with than saying that there's things. no, no the ineffective 911 service and ineffective cell phone service is climate change related. I mean, that's where that's the it's in this let's, report too. It's in for the response to emergencies. So, you know, these things have different degrees of relation. These were the things that that uh, came out during the interest meetings. And again, I wish more people had attended those meetings. There's only a certain amount we can do to pull people into a lengthy discussion of technical stuff um, but we did have actually more people there than I was afraid we were going to have so that was good especially for the first meeting first meeting was much better attended than the second meeting and that and that's you know it was for that from that public comment that these things came out so you know uh, I guess Ashfield had uh, had more input than we did well, they certainly uh, got people to agree to what they were proposing. Yeah, mm, yeah. I saw the flicker. I did yeah. too. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So I see. I see you. I agree with the criticism of my point. I'm at saying no, but I don't really have an alternative. So no is not quite fair. But uh, not hap Not a happy camper yeah. on this one. You vote it's no. Not, it's I, not a happy you, signature. Uh, yeah, not yeah, happy. Yeah, not yeah, a, yeah. I'm not putting the smiley you, you face next to my name on you this. Put the frowny face. You don't. You don't have to sign it if you don't want to. You don't have to vote. Yeah. yeah. You don't have to vote. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. None of nobody has to vote. Anyway. Right. All right. We've beaten this horse enough. But I'm going to move that we sign this. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor. I'll say aye. Aye. Um, yeah. I'm still debating it. Yeah, I'm still debating it. Uh, I have about 10 more seconds left to debate it. <laughs> okay. I'm not saying you're wrong. Uh, no. I, I, under I, understand, yeah. I understand your point. It's well taken. 
Yeah. All right. I'll set it. Okay. All right. Across the board. Yeah. All right. Sign it with your left hand. <laughs> All right, next item on the agenda is the temporary assessor's assistant position clarification on term of the appointment, 13 weeks. Do we have something to sign on that, Tom? Uh, no, it's just uh, we're, you, you were just appointed, um, and uh, the uh, temporary is it's a valuation conversion program assistant. And... Uh, it, it didn't have an, an end date, and because it's temporary, it should have a, an end date. So if you can just we'll just, we'll uh, just move, vote move, to make that thirteen it, yeah, weeks. Yeah, vote, okay. vote that it was All a thirteen right. uh, week appointment. All right, for the uh, for the temporary assessor's assistant position, um, I'll make a motion that we clarify the term um, for thirteen weeks. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, next one, signed document not exercising the right of first refusal for 40 Fournier Road. How many more okay. times can we not exercise this right? Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. we wanted a more formal good. document. I drew up a more formal document based on some documents I had in the uh, files. It's his they job. liked it. They made a few little tweaks and adding the book and page. Yeah, it was nice of you to do his job for him. Yeah. Well, he requested that we notify him. So this is the official note. This, this is this is what the what the attorney has requested. So we're, we're just formalizing what we already so did. And, and there is a notar uh, a notarize uh, notary yeah. function. I, I need to notarize it. It's right. on the second page. Right. So I'll yeah. get my little stamp. Good thing we okay. have one right here. Yes. We do. All right. So I'll make a motion that we uh, sign this formalized. Um, Notice uh, to relinquish the right of first refusal uh, for 40 Fournier Road, Conway, uh, that will be recorded um, in the Registrar of Deeds. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Do you want to see proper ID? I think I know you. Okay. <laughs> we don't so we don't know. So. No. This my ID right here. That's okay. it. Yep. I think it falls under the category of um, <coughs> personal knowledge of signatory for a period of time establishing beyond doubt that the individual has the identity claimed. Right. That I think that's work. It. Yeah. Big Y doesn't let me get away with that. Though. No, they don't. Big Y doesn't let anybody <laughs> no get away with anything. I know. They carded a 900-year-old woman in front of me. I could not believe it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's just so yeah, that they can say we card everybody. They card everybody. Yeah, no they arguments. Do. No. no. The yeah. woman was as old as the hills, and I just yeah. I could not believe that they yeah. carded her. Yeah. yeah. She was so shocked too. She should be honored. Yeah. Really. I like it. Right here. Uh, yeah. Right. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Next item is to sign the contract for the Conway Grammar School water tank cleaning and liner installation. All right, this That's is the uh, uh, standard goods and services contract the town uses. Uh, the scope, Article 2 is the scope of the work, is an attachment B, which is their proposal to us, which was revised. And uh, so it's current, and uh, there are two copies of it, one for us, one for them. Uh, there is a place for the accountant to sign, but that's pretty much so that nothing gets signed by the select board that doesn't have uh, an identified source of funding. But you'll note that the amount uh, that it's for, $24,000, is exactly the same as what town meeting um, actually voted. voted. Yeah. Um, th their proposal actually, their revised proposal actually came in a little bit over that, and they were kind enough to uh, bring it down. Yeah. 
So. Mm -hmm. okay. <clears throat> All right, I'll make a motion that we sign the contract for the um, Conway Grammar School water tank cleaning and liner installation. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Yes, aye. We have now replaced the tank, the pump, <laughs> the septic. In the past, just the past three years, we've re replaced every single possible part of the water system there. I good would think. Good for another what? Another year or years? two. Another year or two the way we're going. No. How long have they been in there? I don't know. The building's 20 years old. We're on our third roof. Yeah, well, but. By that, by that thing, water pump's good for six years, five years, then. Or you are, I don't know. Hopefully it's a long time. Hopefully a long time. Okay, next item on the agenda is to um, to approve the MassWorks grant application uh, coming from the Wastewater Committee uh, for development of a downtown wastewater system. Okay. You don't call them sewer rats anymore? Well, we're, we're being kind to them tonight. Okay. Uh, Joe Strugowski is uh, moving forward uh, apace with the application. He's gone back and forth with uh, Ty and Bond for the technical aspects of it. He, I've worked with him on the bureaucratic aspects of it. And uh, it looks as though it's going to be ready to submit by, uh, he only has till the second week in August. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very quick A lonely, turnaround. tough road to hoe, though. It is. Mm. All right, I'll make you a motion that we approve the, um, the MassWorks grant application of the Wastewater Committee for a downtown wastewater system. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. I'll note that this is an economic development uh, proposal. Right. Because it's based on the ability of the downtown to um, absorb more use, which would come from any commercial use of any of the buildings downtown, so that we a can marijuana say, dispensary would insist that we have. <laughs> well, there Water. there is that, but they might might not be downtown. Okay. Next item on the agenda is to approve the MassWorks grant application for the highway department for the small town rural assistance grant for road work. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Uh, this is um, not as yet as well developed as the wastewater proposal. I'm hoping that we have one to submit, um, but it, 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 they do require a lot. and. Uh, uh, as you know, Ron has been busy trying to uh, recover uh, some of the uh, uh, some of the costs that uh, are, are overages, really, from the Matthews Road project, and he's he's been very busy on that. He's behind on everything else that he's he's planned for the summer because the work was not up to spec. Uh, he's been spending a whole lot of time getting that in gear. Um, there is something under items not anticipated uh, for that as well. So um, his particular MassWorks application has had to take a back seat to current events. So I'm not sure that that's actually going to come through, but I thought it would be safe to uh, uh, safer to have you guys sign that. Can we anyway. submit it as is? Or, or, or you, are you implying it may not get submitted? It, it may not get submitted just okay. because of the, um, yeah. the amount of work he's having to do on, on cleaning up the Matthews Road situation. Can we talk about that? Uh, it, there's a, there is an item uh, on the agenda under items not anticipated for that. Yeah. yeah. I shall wait then. Yeah, okay. Um, next item is the Festival of the Hills one day liquor license. We don't have it yet. We came okay. up with a form, we sent it to them. They had asked for it. Yeah. Um, it's to be submitted with a certificate of insurance, which may be the holdup. Okay. Uh, so we can, so we can we table that for tonight. We don't have that. Does it have, right. Who season. says it has to have a certificate of insurance? We do. Why do we do that? Uh, because 
it's a group having an event on town property and and they need to have their own insurance because they don't have town insurance they're not a town group and uh, they need to be covered otherwise it falls back to us and that and was this is the same as yeah. two years ago or yeah or less. Mm -hmm. yeah so and and they they got one before yeah. so they, they shouldn't have a problem getting one this time it's just we don't have it yet mm -hmm. okay all right special town meeting set date and review draft warrant do you all have copies of that uh do not have any draft warrants no ah set meeting date oh, okay we have a couple of alternatives on that right the uh, planning board would prefer September 24th. What, is, uh, what does Jenny think? What's her preference? Uh, and that would be good for her. That's in the middle of her three okay. optimal weeks. That's, that's the middle date of the three that were proposed, correct? Yes. Okay. So that's uh, September 24th? Okay. Well, I can see that that's not where it might have been expected. So it's not a select board there. meeting? Is that what you're where it is. thinking about? But, oh man, that's what I'm missing. Oh, where? Where is that? There, the Tim Martin. That's where I'm headed tomorrow morning. So yep. got, got to pick up the boat at 6 a.m. and Marina, I have friends at Tim Mark right now. They went out there today for a week. That's where we're headed. That's where I'm headed. Motoring the boat over. Anyone have any comments on the, the 24th of September? As the uh, I'm not uh, sure what Tom was just alluding to, but uh, it's, special it's, it's good day. for me. Yeah. Um, and this is very basic. Um, and that's the first picture right now. Oh, sorry. What's that? How often are you in town? Well, that's where the ferry leaves from, so to, to the vineyard. So, it's, but uh, that's where the boat's getting a new engine put on it. So I got to pick that up. Uh, figure out what's going to the car. Maybe not to crash into the rocks in the harbor on the way over. My wife is joining my friends at a, at a, a fundraiser that's being put on by Alan Virtual Okay. The next page that's would cool. just be uh, your signatures. Right. And there's a couple of placeholders in here. You can see they're a little bit grayed out. Right. Um, yeah. um, first one, paying bills from a previous year. Um, get rid of those while we can. Um, the second one, you remember the uh, Nexamp people were in here uh, talking about a payment of lieu and taxes. Right. Um, the town meeting needs to grant you the authority to uh, come up with a payment sure. of lieu and taxes if you agree Highland. to that. Okay. That's what that is. Um, I don't know whether how what the Conservation Commission is thinking these days. They seem sometimes to have uh, mm. a confidence in their membership and sometimes... Uh, not so much. So I just put that on there. We can check in with them closer to the meeting date. Okay. Um, then there's the uh, the marijuana planning bylaw. We, I just got a draft of that today, which I'm happy to share. Um, but the uh, planning board is going to have its uh, meeting. Uh, I have it in my update. We'll, we'll get to okay. that. And then finally, um, there's the... Uh, Airbnb Yay. Um, item. Go get them. <laughs> and uh, so that's um, that's what's on the agenda. Of course, it's being driven by the marijuana article. Right. The Airbnb yeah. one. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, this whole thing. Yeah. Yes. The, yes. Yes. So, so that's uh, those are the only items that I can think of right now. I tried to put in everything I could that you know needs to be done. Okay. Uh, in an interim basis, but uh, and you know, some people 
uh, there, there's always some reason for for somebody to uh, object to having something on a special town meeting warrant because most people don't go or people it's easier to pack the house or something like that. My, uh, the more I learn about how towns do business, the more I learn how common it is for the spring town meeting to be the budget meeting and the fall town meeting to be a planning board meeting where all of the planning board things sure. get decided. Yeah. So uh, I don't think it's necessarily a bad thing to have planning board items on the fall town meeting. Mm -hmm. um, we may actually want to try to push the planning board items to the fall town meeting and establish that kind of a, a dynamic. So because they're long, complicated, they need time, uh, but then again, we don't want to shortchange the budget discussions at at the annual town meeting. So, just right. in terms of structuring the town's schedule, um, I thought I'd just mention that as a possibility. So, I, I don't see a problem putting planning board things in the in the fall. Mm -hmm. I mean, especially well, the marijuana thing we have to do now. So, or at least before January first. So, you yeah. spent the first two hundred years having town meetings every month or two. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you're allowed to. You can. You can. Yeah. Okay. Um, September 24th. We're okay with that. Yeah. All right. I'll make a motion that we set the town meeting date for the special town meeting at uh, September 24th. Do I have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Yes. Aye. Aye. Okay. All right, next, items not anticipated 48 hours in advance of the meeting. Okay, we've got three of them. Thomas. Uh, the first one, um, you may remember Emily Stockman. She is a go-to person for the Conservation Commission. They had her right. do the wetlands delineation for yes. the, the rose parcel, and um, they would like to hire her as a consultant for the NEXAMP project. Uh, but I don't have is a scope of work or an agreement or a term of work. Well, that's kind and, of necessary. And I want to get those things before I actually do that. However, John um, is very anxious to get her on board as soon as possible. Okay. So if it's possible to get that within the next two weeks, it would be helpful if you gave me the authority to sign that for the town. Okay. Um, all right, so so we want to uh, move to approve the hiring of Emily Stockman as consultant to the Conservation Commission for the Next Dam project, and give you authority to sign the contract within the next two weeks. Okay. Um, I'll I'll make a motion. All right. Do we do we, uh, do we have yeah, a second? Yeah, I'm not do it unlimited somehow, but. I have a, I have developed over the years an allergy to the word consultant, um, and without really knowing the four corners and agreeing to the four corners in advance of what the consultant's engagement is, I've been burned so many times by consultants. Um, and Emily, and, Emily has worked with us a number of times, so we know who and, she and, is. Uh, uh, Mr. Gates is very good at uh, delineating four corners of work. Uh, and also, this is coming out of their own funding. I should I should add that they they have a they have uh, money that they get from uh, permitting fees and things like that. They they have their own pot of money that they hire people out of. So that's where that would. Would the they really be turning that over to the town general fund if they don't spend it? No, no. This they use specifically for consultants because there's a lot of technical work in the conservation commission. Um, area of responsibility so it's a it's it's sort of a usual thing for them and and, and they can she's a known quantity and August 6th is just they can't do that that, that they might lose her in two weeks within two weeks no they need they want work done before then um, so I just said to mr. Gates that um, I would try to move things along as expeditiously as possible. I also let him know that we needed more documentation before we were going to be able to move forward. So this he may not be able to get all of that within two weeks, but the way he was talking, he really wanted to get her on board as soon as possible. So that this was my suggested method for... We're, we're, we're basically agreeing in principle. He's setting, he's setting the guidelines for the consultant. 
And Tom is our stopgap to make sure that he provides it. Oh, yeah. Oh, we'll, we'll, I mean, that's... Sure. I mean, we could vote to hire, you know, now. So... Yeah, we don't, we don't have a scope of work. We don't have the term. Right, right. Uh, we don't have a price. And I'm particularly interested so. in the billing arrangement and, uh, and supervisory arrangement and all those types of things. Jack that takes care of all that. Jack Gates. He's, he's in charge of that. These are things I've been burned on repeatedly. I must learn from mistakes. <laughs> yeah, she, she's a known quantity of the town, does very good work, and we've used her for years. Well, I trust Jack implicitly. Okay. That's good enough for me. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Okay. <laughs> yeah. In favor, but not with smiley face attacks. <laughs> okay. There's a lot of that. <laughs> it's okay. All right, next item. Um, make the clerk of the Board of Health a special municipal employee appoint Virginia Moulton as a member of the Board of Health until May 16, 2019. Yeah, Tom, did, what's I that about? didn't want to make um, this a piece of mail, even though it is a piece of mail to the select board, because that doesn't come until after items not anticipated. So perhaps you'd like to read the piece of mail. I think it's worth reading in its entirety. Could you summarize it for us? Oh, the Board oh, yeah. of Health- We got a narrator does, right there, go ahead. Does, yeah. Yeah. does not have yeah. quorum. Okay. Cannot make they no longer have enough people to show up to make corn. I think it's okay. well written. All right, let me let me uh, read this uh, this memo. It's to the board of selectmen from the board of health, dated uh, July 21, 2018. Board member appointment. The Conway Board of Health is in an extremely diminished state this summer. Our five-member elected board has suddenly dwindled to two active members. A third elected member has failed to attend a single meeting since her election in May 2017 and has not responded to repeated attempts to communicate. Mm -hmm. At the election in May 2018, there was a failure to fill a vacancy on the board and a search for a new member, um, though so far unsuccessful, has been underway for the past two months. In the meantime, uh, William McLaughlin has resigned his position on the board, effective 1 July 2018, leaving the board without the possibility of, of achieving a quorum at, for a meeting. This memo is to advise the appointing authority that the remaining active members of the Board of Health are recommending the appointment of Virginia A. Knowlton to fill one of the vacancies on the Board of Health until the next town election. The appointment would provide the board with a member that is experienced with all activities related to the Board of Health and provide an informed third voice necessary to meet quorum and decision-making requirements. Uh, Mrs. Knowlton is currently employed as the clerk of the Conway Board of Health she is more than 35 she has more than 34 years of experience with the Conway board and would be expected to continue in that capacity as such she may need to be designated a special town employee thank you for your prompt attention in this matter and you'll note that the first this is a two part thing and the first part is to make the clerk of the board of health because it's the position itself that's the special municipal employee, not the individual, to make the clerk of the Board of Health a special municipal employee. That would allow that the person holding the position of clerk of the Board of Health, uh, which is an appointed position, um, also to act as the elected official. Okay. A similar uh, function happens with the uh, assessors where uh, the administrative assessor is also a member of the board of assessors. Right. And obviously Ginny knows everything that's going on because she's the clerk of the board. Um, and right. she's willing to do this. The thing is that she uh, is. 
they still need more than that, though. I mean, that, they can't just rest in the laurels of just having three when they're supposed to have five. Their, their search, as they say, has been going on for two months. They haven't found anyone yet. Is there any special reason why they've had these, well, these personnel issues to, on to, that committee? To become a member of the Board of Health, you have to, you have to know some very specific information, and it's it, voluminous. So a lot of people do not want to undertake that, uh, that responsibility or that effort to be on the board. We need a functioning like board of health to collect bare B and B taxes. <laughs> that's Seriously, true. Yeah. that's true. Uh, all the more reason why this makes m makes sense. Certainly, uh, in the in the dire situation that the board of health is so in. Do we have a strong point. plea in the visitor? You know, on a very I, I don't know what they've done, what basis. they've done about that. That would be their their bailiwick. Yeah. Didn't they just recently go from three to five a couple of years ago? I, it's the, been the, five no, the since board, I've no, been the board here. of health has always been five. Mm -hmm. um, Maybe that's not such a good idea anymore. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, I think it. It, it helps distribute the load when there are five people to do it because yeah. there's a fair amount of inspection and, and such to do. It's about to increase. And there's some some very very specific, you know, requirements that they have to follow through these inspections. So, uh, it it it's a burden. But, um, so again, I would suggest two separate motions for this item. One for making making the clerk of the board of health a special municipal employee first. So let's and then one. and then and appointing then her as a member of the board. Okay. Yeah. So we'll make a motion that the uh, the clerk of the Conway Board of Health uh, be designated a special town employee. A special municipal employee. Yeah. Is the uh, correct term. Okay. All right, special municipal employee. So moved. Okay. Do we have a second? All in favor? Aye. Okay. You uh, have to say aye for Lisa to hear you. Yeah. Right, that was an audible nod of the head. Next. She felt the breeze. Yes, you did. Yeah. I, I could, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. Next okay. motion is to appoint uh, Virginia Knowlton um, to serve as a member of the Board of Health for term ending May 16. 2019. Do I have a second? Yes. All in favor? Aye. Okay. And thank yes. you, Jenny. I'm, I might suggest, uh, John, that uh, we propose that you swear her in to the position. Sure. Be happy to. Um, I don't know. I, I'm not sure she thought it through. Uh, that well, far, well, she can't swear herself. Can she swear herself in? This, this in? is yeah. this is what it I would have been saying. a neat trick in front of a mirror, maybe. I don't know. Huh. I, I will I will be in to see Jenny this week, and we'll, we'll get her sworn in. Okay, next item is uh, not anticipated. Is a second letter to Lane Construction regarding corrective action plan for Matthews Road. They offered a correction plan. We had a site visit with them. They then sent an amended corrective action plan, which we also felt was not satisfactory. So instead of agreeing to everything that we agreed to during the um, walkthrough, we have additional uh, items that we wish to communicate with them. It's, that's why it was unexpected. So. So I've got a couple questions about this. The first is, what's the uh, procedure if there's no agreement? Where do, where do they go from there? Is there is there a, a contractually mandated arbitration? Mm -hmm. There's, there's got to be a dispute resolution in the contract. Right. That's what I'm. That's what yeah. because the, what that resolution is like is it, uh, is really important because this letter asks it. Well, yeah. When when I read the first when I when I'm reflecting back on a couple of weeks ago and 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 what the first letter said, we have never asked to be made whole from their mistakes, because um, our loss included the, all those weeks of employee time doing pro doing pro a drainage project that got paved over by their mistake, and so we are only asking for the nut the the material. Uh, you know, for, for, for restitution uh, of the materials, the excess physical materials that we pay for, but we're not asking for restitution for the wages that we're out, and we still aren't. And so, to, to me, if you're asking, if if you're making a, a 
whatever you call this letter. Um, well, this, this is ask, asking them to correct the things that right. we found wrong. Right. This is not going beyond that at this point. We're not but suing them. It's, it's we're, not we're about not, suing. It's we're, just we're about not asking for... This is part of what yeah. they've done wrong. They have negated uh, weeks of employees' work, and we are not asking in any capacity for that to be made whole, nor are we ever going to avail ourselves of that if we don't at least ask for it. Yeah, I think that's... The, it, Their weeks, liability weeks is, is overstating is it. Is, is limited we, in this. We, Weeks is overstating it. We do say that due to the fact that we've had to spend extra time on this, that we want to be um, relieved of the rest of the fiscal year's contract, which we have signed with them, so we can go elsewhere. So that's how we're, we're, we're saying, because we've had this bad experience, you know, we need, we, we need you to agree that, that we can go elsewhere. We, we've signed on as part of I don't know, 15, 16 towns to get this, um, to get various things. And this is part of that. And we want out from that. So we use that as a reason for, for saying, you know, just let us go away and, and that's okay. We haven't, the amount of time spent on it is, not entirely significant based on sometimes projects needing extra attention, that sort of thing. Um, it's there, it's, it's inconvenient, but we're not talking a lot of money here. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they're going to have to redo whatever, all the stuff that they did before. And, not, they and, and they're, they're fine with... Um, Are they agreeing that they made these mistakes now? I mean, that is another thing that we're asking them in this letter, yeah. is to acknowledge that in writing. Uh, be, because, I mean, I wasn't at the last meeting when you talked about this, but the, the minutes said that they were not acknowledging. They did agree verbally during the site meeting. Um, yeah. See, and I, and I and we want we want that written down. So we're asking for that as well. I think that I, when I saw that, I thought that could be a big roadblock to getting this done because that's a different thing. I, I want their money. I don't. I don't want their apology. I want their money. <laughs> well, um, having their apology helps in future procurements for both us and other towns. So it would be a good thing if we got it. Um, and if we wanted to do that, I think it would be a different mechanism than this corrective action plan mechanism um, this, this is, is to fix this is a negotiation yeah. right now to get them to do the things that we think they did wrong if we have to go further than this we can certainly bring in we could other other items of uh, contention you know, like 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 the wage situation that I, I think that would be further than this process is designed yeah this is go. this is step number one you know, we should have a sentence in there just saying we are not including the cost of wages blah, 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 made necessary. Blah, 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 blah. There, there, there is a sentence that mentions that, okay. um, but it is in the context of. I already signed it anyway. To some day, but um. it, 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 it's in the context of of getting out of the contract and just saying, you know, we just we just want out. And we've had we've had how many of these? Is this the third letter or the second letter? The second letter. Um, it's the second letter. It's not the second communication. Right. Um, this right. is the second letter from the select board. Right. And yeah. and in in between the first letter and this letter, Ron has had communication with them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. All right. And and we had the site visit. And we had the site visit. Yeah. 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 yeah we. we and you know they agreed to a bunch of stuff, and they're they're just trying to claw a little bit of that back here. And I, we're I, saying no, we're not interested in that. I thought they were very amicable yeah. on the side visit. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I I found them to be that way. There was um, there was some pushback, but uh, they by the end they were certainly agreeing that the work was substandard in in some specific cases. In some areas, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, I'll make a motion that we sign this letter uh, of corrective for the corrective action plan that was revised from the first 
plan that we signed. I have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I can talk to, to Ron and uh, especially Andrea Woods at um, at the COG about. Uh, yeah, and Andrea is very thorough. On what these what kind of additional steps might be likely to be worth it? Because you know there's a cost to doing that as well. So all I know is that if. The object is to be made whole. If you don't ask for it, you're never going to get it. I agree. Um, yeah. Yeah, I don't... So far, it doesn't really fall outside, you know, what extra time you might spend on a project that needed some amendments as it was going on. Though, there was that site visit. So a bunch of people went on the site visit. Right. But that's like a couple hours of, you know six or eight people's time. Which, right. you know, lawyers, you know, that, that might be significant money, but, you know, poorly paid. Uh. <laughs> All right, next item on the agenda. Tom, you have your update for us? Yes, I do. Uh, no, I don't. Yes, I do. There it is. Committees and boards uh, responding to um, a discussion last time. Uh, both the House and Senate have passed short term rental bills for Airbnb and similar services. And it's been in conference committee since April 11th. The House voted in March, passing their bill 118 to 30. And the Senate voted April 4th, 2018, passing their bill. 31 to 6, but they had differences and were sent to conference also in April with no activity since then. In order to take advantage of it, the town would need to adopt the local room occupancy excise, which is, um, oh, uh, as you saw, I included it in language for the fall town meeting to that effect. Uh, the planning board should also adopt language regarding lodging houses, which, which would assist the Board of Health in making inspections. So, and it's not in the fall, the, the, the planning board new zoning laws? No, they've got their hands full with uh, the ones they have. Um, though, they, um, I'm sure they'd be interested. Uh, also, the Planning Board has scheduled a public hearing on the marijuana bylaw in the Town Hall General Purpose Room on Monday, September 17th, 2018, from 7 to 9 p.m. Isn't that the week of the pre-town meeting? Isn't that the day and night uh, time of the pre-town meeting that would normally take place? Well, they had the pre-town meeting for the annual town meeting two weeks ahead. Oh, okay. That's a, that's a private, privately organized event, so yeah, I imagine they would have it two weeks before, especially because Mary McClintock, who is very interested in that, um, in, in the pre-town meeting, is also okay. the chair of the planning board. So okay, good. I'm sure she can resolve it with no, her she, own. She single-handedly supplies mind. most of the baked goods and makes the pre-town meeting worth going to. <laughs> um, for departmental news, at Phil's urging, I have asked everyone with a Town of Conway email to include as an automatic electronic signature some text, which I, I give you here. You should have received well, an email from me. Roy can, Roy can add that, right? To uh, this is something that individuals do to their own signature. Okay. Um, and I also sent out instructions for two different Outlook versions. Uh, I sent it out for my own, and then uh, Jan told me that it didn't work for her version, so I sent out another version of instructions for he, working he with how to do it. We're Roy, working with multiple versions of Outlook. But Roy can help you on your yes. phone to, to make sure that, er, that it's in your standard thing so that you never have to actually do it yourself. And he, he'll, he'll be able to do the software. Oh, yeah, yeah. I could theoretically do that, too. Yeah, no, I, I, I know how to do it. Okay. It's just... A, to be consistent, you might want to do it for everybody. 
and sorry for all the town employees out there that now have to do deal with this but this is a good thing to have in your emails oh uh, absolutely and, sure um, yeah. yeah it could it could pr provide be, prove to be legally beneficial uh, in the future so. oh absolutely yeah uh, going on new cherry sheets are out based on the legislative budget conference committee's budget mm -hmm. total aid was originally estimated at a little over a million dollars and charges at 200 thousand and change for a net aid figure of eight hundred and thirty eight thousand uh, dollars with substantially increased school choice receiving tuition along with smaller increases uh, in uh, sending tuition uh, I think the sending tuition actually went down as well and reduced charges from choice and charter schools yeah, the conference committee's local aid would total one million one hundred thousand dollars, with charges of ninety-three thousand dollars, for a net aid figure of one million eight thousand dollars. This is a hundred and sixty-nine thousand dollars higher mm -hmm. than expected in January, so that will be very good for our bottom line for our fiscal year nineteen budget. If that holds, I don't have any expectation that that's not going to hold the things that governor baker is concerned with um maybe um vetoing some of the legislature's uh items are not local aid items right yeah he's he's not going to touch local aid that's so. really good news for us yes it is mm -hmm. yeah and the the, not to rain on everybody's parade. The bad news is that our kindergarten registration and pre-K registration are like breaking records in terms of n numbers. Right. So the school choice numbers would then, of necessity, have to go down um, over time. So the, enjoy the bump upwards while we can. Mm. Let me make sure I understand. So this is saying that when somebody choices in, the town receives more money than the 5000 in the past. It's a five thousand dollar base, but they, uh, yeah, it's it's not much more. It could be that m a number of students are choicing in as well. Right. I I think so that's my impression. Number of students is choosing in may go up. Is, 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 it has is, gone up, and it, it but it has it gone far up. exceeds the number of kids choicing out. Yeah, and the number of kids choicing out is substantially down. Uh, so that's specific, though, to Conway and Frontier. Of Conway. Well, well yeah, I guess both. I, I see. I, I thought this was still referring to, like, state no, no, just budget Conway. issues. No, it's Conway. Oh, no, that's okay, so, okay. Conway. Oh, okay. That's that, just us. I thought you were saying that, this is what I wanted to make sure. I thought that you were saying that the state is increasing the income the town would receive from school choice. And the total income is going up. Only if yeah, there's this, more kids. This is total. But, that's total. That is what is now expected. That's the difference between this number and the number that was presented back in January or I see. Okay. February. I see. The school choice is the yeah. conversation that's the hardest to have with Eastern Massachusetts legislators because it, it's non-existent in there. It's non-existent east of the Beltway. There's no school choice there. They have it, but it's here it's a really big deal. Mm -hmm. And um, the, the $5,000 baseline number hasn't been incre increased since the 70s. And I don't think it should. And, and be, because the towns pay for it. Um, and so it's it's one thing to take their kids and their money, and it's another thing to make them pay more every year. But there's a sense that, out of fairness, that's the way it should be because it costs so much more than five thousand. And, and and the charter the the charter school rates are not changing. <coughs> that's that's what I was trying to understand. If right. They did increase the reimbursement for that mm -hmm. for this right. year. But, well, they made it eighty percent or something like that of what they promised it would be. Um, yes, in, but last year it was fifty percent. Yeah. So yeah. Okay. Um, so that's um, that's yeah. That's it'd be nice if they actually problems. carried out their promises yeah. of a hundred percent, which is why we all voted for it in the yeah. first place. Mm -hmm. Right. So, again, this is just okay. a, a okay. report of things. Anything anybody Great. wants to discuss, I'm happy to put it on the agenda. Um, we have been approached by the Community Youth Action, sorry, the Community Action Youth Programs Summer Intern Program. I'm reviewing possible tasks suitable for interns. It's a little bit late for summer interns. These are mostly uh, older high school students, I guess. 
looking for experience to, or maybe uh, gap year or, you know, post senior to get them something to do before college, that sort of thing. Right. right. Uh, so it's it's quite an extensive application. It's pro. It's it's a good thing we have it. Um, we may not actually be able to offer anything this year because by the time I get anything together, it'll be in August anyway, and um, there's a limited amount of time to get things done. But yeah. we know the process now, and we'll we'll you know be ready next Great. year. Yeah. Good. Okay. Uh, the town clerk was giving given a painting for the town by a past resident. You can see it over there. It is a detail of the library. Still not sure exactly what, what the best way to... Uh, it's it's the, the one right do. there? Yes. Well, um, it's sort of side, yes. way over on its side. Hmm. Uh, so, uh, so... And that was given to Ginny personally? It's, it was given to the town clerk for the town. For the town. So okay. we'll have to think of things, uh, think of ways that that might go. Okay. So uh, in the future... When you exceed, when you take accession of a gift like that, it has to be ready to go. You can't, you can't take something and then have to pay to frame it, and uh, uh, you know it, that's not. I'm, okay. I'm certainly not going to be proposing uh, money for framing that. Um, we have received an application form for the new Housing Choice Small Town Capital Grant Program. I've looked through the application and don't find it a good fit for Conway, at least this year. If we want to get into developing or improving housing stock, especially for affordable housing, yes. I'd be more than happy to talk with any select board member. Please let me know if you'd like to see the application form. And you might come to the same conclusion I did, that it would be difficult for Conway to get funds from this so, program. Yeah, they, we, we reviewed this at FERCON, and, and the application doesn't doesn't apply to small towns. Right. And it it's is only called small town grant towns program. It doesn't apply to small under towns. Under seven thousand. It's it's modeled on more the eastern part of the state. But and and they just said we will do this for towns under seven thousand. But it it requires a tremendous amount of uh, of structure already in place in yeah. order to get a good stoop score. And some of the things that it requires are things that I don't see Conway. Uh, being able to accept anytime soon. Yeah, don't you have to be rapidly growing too? You have to have shown fifteen percent growth or something recently. Um, I, I, that may be one of the one of the points. The one of the items that you get points for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it's it's filled with with things like that. I uh, would love to see uh, starter homes, more starter homes in the area and elderly homes in the area. We, we would benefit so much from new families coming in. So the question is, what is the town's role in that? Um, and, you know, again, we can yeah. talk afterwards. if you're uh, The transition to Comcast as our IT provider went very smoothly thanks to our IT consultants' preparation and on-site assistance. Thanks, Roy. Download speeds are noticeably quicker. That's great. That's great. Thank you, Tom. Okay, next item, select board comments. Do we have any comments from the select board? No I comments. commented out. Okay. <laughs> um, we have no mail today, and any announcements? Do we have any announcements? No um, announcements. Next week I shall be on vacation. Okay. <laughs> that is All my right. announcement. <laughs> well, good. You don't have to miss the select board meeting. Yeah, thank you, yes. Okay, our next uh, meeting is August the 6th uh, here at the town offices at 6 p.m. Should have been here already. If there is no other motion to business adjourn. to come before the board, I will entertain a motion to <laughs> adjourn. So Bill has, has made a motion. Do uh, we have a second? Yes, second. Yes, yes. All in favor? Aye.